Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins. Pretty nice day here in the 10 News Weather Center. We're actually seeing behind me the newsroom getting a total makeover. Big screens and now all those cubicles that so many of us have to live in during the week. They're getting moved out. New ones getting put in. Bigger and better here. And our weather is certainly big and perfect. You know, we are dealing with a spectacular weekend here across the Tampa Bay area. It stays that way until we see some big storms that could hit on Thursday of the upcoming work week. But here we are Saturday and we are just looking at smooth sailing here as we head into the weekend. So this is what we're going to be seeing here on the big picture. First off, we'll take a look at the entire nation. We'll start out small where we've got very little cloud cover and finally we're getting some drought relief in California this has been the big story here as this low comes slamming into LA mudslides heavy rains too much rain too quickly and the entire area from about the mid Mississippi River back through California has been dealing with the drought and in fact right here in the California area especially around Southern California they've been dealing with the worst drought ever on record it started all the way back in the summer and they've had very little rain going all the way into this winter snowpack has been small and they ground is so dry that when it rains it's really not getting absorbed into the ground it's just running off causing these flash slides well this area of low pressure is going to uh, move through the four corners here and then merge up into this cold front and as it does so we'll see this rain pretty much uh, get across southern Georgia Alabama on Monday but I don't think it's really going to reach us here not until a second low develops in the Gulf of Mexico could we see some of that rain here and that would take place on Thursday so let's talk about what we're going to see here today and this is just nice sunshine here a warming trend we're going to be about eight to ten degrees warmer than on friday with highs in the mid 70s now tonight notice the fog showing up here this is the forecast model pretty good swath of fog and i would expect to see that more in citrus into hernando county where we could see some dense areas of fog no showers around here sunday temperatures in the low 80s and then looking ahead let's take a look at that cold front but here we are as we head into monday 8 a.m you can see that front with snow across Kentucky, sleet and through Tennessee, and a band of rain down into the Panhandle. That rain probably will not reach us because the ridge of high pressure stays put and it just starts to fade away. But as we head into, uh, let's say, like Thursday, that's when we'll see a better chance of some rain here. Now I want to talk about what's beyond our world, the fact that NASA has discovered 715 new planets. These are exoplanets, planets that are beyond our solar system, and they use the Kepler telescope to find these, and they were able to see a little small shift in the light from the stars, and that is where the planets pass through and cause a dimming of the light, and they were able to calculate a big batch, a bonanza of planets, and so that brings to mind, is there life on other planets? And with this discovery, they are finding planets that are close to the same size of Earth. And, you know, if you want life on another planet, the planets can't be too big, otherwise you'd be crushed by this, the weight of the gravity, just like on Jupiter. You know, everything with mass attracts gravity, and things with more mass thus have more gravity. So they're looking for planets that are similar size to Earth. Also, they got to be in the sweet spot, close enough to the sun where it stays warm and it doesn't develop ice like what you'd find on Pluto, but yet far enough where everything wouldn't be too hot and the atmosphere would burn off. Because we need atmosphere, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't have a job. But no, you need atmosphere to trap the gases, to provide a favorable environment for life to form. And so remember, Pluto got the boot from the solar system because uh, they found so many of these exoplanets and now up to 1700 that it doesn't qualify as being a typical planet that you'd find in our normal solar system. So these are planets beyond the solar system and it's just amazing to see that stuff. So our weather is staying amazing over the next couple of days and we will be seeing dry conditions until Thursday. There you see a 70% chance of rain, some strong storms as low pressure comes out of the Gulf of Mexico with rain lingering overnight into Friday morning, but it should time out where that moves on by. We'll see some cooler weather late in the week and then it will dry out for the upcoming weekend. So enjoy Saturday and Sunday. It's definitely a winter if you're going out to the Strawberry Festival in Plant City or just hanging out around here for the Gasparilla Arts Festival. It sure looks good. Have a good one.